Right, so no joke, I've just got my Wi-Fi back and the first thing I did was watch the Love Victor Season 2 trailer. My emotions. Hi friends, it is Sam and I have just completed a six week internet hiatus. Of course you wouldn't have known that because I still continued to upload using my sister's mobile data. But we have gone without Wi-Fi in this house for a number of weeks and it has been painful, especially during the last week when I also ran out of mobile data. Can you imagine in this day and age how that must feel? It doesn't feel good. During my time without Wi-Fi, I had a lot of time on my hands. I thought now that I'm out of the woods and back in a wonderful internet filled home, I'd share with you some things that you can do if you lose the internet for, an, for any amount of time. The first thing on my list won't be a surprise to you if you watch my last video and that is write a masterpiece. I like to call myself an author, it inflates my ego and it's also technically true and I have been working on a novel for a number of weeks. Fortunately I didn't have any writer's block when we lost the wi-fi so I did keep myself quite entertained by writing a cute little story and I highly recommend you do the same. One thing about writing and creative endeavours that people think is that you have to be good at them to pursue them and it's not true at all. If you've got a story in your head that you want to be written, be the one to write it. You don't have to release it into the world, you could just use a notebook. Number two on my list is play a crap mobile phone game. Obviously it already has to be installed on your phone if you're without internet but if um for some reason you've got like a really shitty phone game that you haven't played in ages and you just haven't bothered to delete, spend some time on it. A few weeks ago Jess and I downloaded this game that kept getting advertised to us called Project Makeover. Absolutely sexist and awful but the uh, the little Candy Crush levels are fun and it's fun to make over the rooms. I actually really hate how my avatar looks because she's too skinny and Frankly, she's pretty ugly, so I don't tend to delve into that part of the game. But if you can find a crappy little mobile phone game, it can just take hours of your Wi Fi less time off your hands. The third thing you can do while your Wi Fi is down is decorate a biscuit. This idea came to me completely by chance. I was shopping in Tesco, I love the reduced section. Um, you can tell that. I am less than two years away from 30 because I bloody love the reduced section in a supermarket. It's my favourite section. So I tend to loiter there for a very long time and in one of the reduced sections in Tesco they had an Easter biscuit decorating kit with two gingerbread biscuits in it. So Jess and I spent about 10 minutes one day decorating Easter biscuits and then eating them. They looked awful. Um, they were a bit hard and stale, but it killed a bit of time. Number four, watch a terrible TV show. Obviously, without Wi-Fi, you don't have access to Netflix or Disney Plus or any streaming service, YouTube either. So you're gonna have to deal how the generations before us dealt. Watch actual television. I am... Um, a bit ashamed but mostly unashamed to admit that I have been watching a lot of Naked Attraction and quite a bit of Catfish UK. So scroll through those live channels and just pick a show. You never know what you might find. It might be willies and boobies. Number five. This one will not be popular amongst uh, the people on the internet. Go outside, perhaps. I have dogs. So they need walking and when the weather permits uh, I try to take them on longer walks which eats up a little chunk of my time and gives me some vitamin D. My doctor told me that I'm low in it so 
that also helps with my vitamin D levels as well as my Wi-Fi less existence. Also, I went to a castle with some friends this week, so that was excellent. And I didn't have data, so my phone wasn't interrupting our lovely time together. Number six, grow some tomatoes. I think the time for germination is kind of done now. So unless you've actually planted some seeds in the springtime, you might not be able to grow them from seeds. But I'm sure some people near you sell some tomato plants. I keep driving past a house that sells tomato plants. So you can grow some tomatoes and you know, you can't eat them until like late summer, but it'd be fun to just bring something to life, you know? Number seven is something I did just before setting up this camera. Put away your laundry. I had two big piles of laundry on a chair that isn't even mine and on my floor and I have a very small room. I am sitting under my bed right now. Um, this is about half of my room in the frame. So I don't have the space to keep laundry in places where laundry doesn't belong. While your Wi-Fi is down, just put your laundry away. Uh, it makes your room look nice. And while you're stuck in your room, thinking about what you're gonna do, at least you're not tripping over laundry. Number eight, if you're not feeling particularly creative or motivated to put your laundry away, maybe just sit down and read a book. If you're missing your favorite Netflix show, maybe find the book that it's based on and read it. I'm only saying this because at the moment I am reading Hidden Bodies, which is season two of you on Netflix. It is one of the rare instances where I prefer the, uh, the show to the book, but it's a decent substitute while Netflix is not accessible to me. Number nine, you could watch a DVD. If you don't know what a DVD is, because no one watches DVDs these days apparently, it comes in a case sort of this size, it's a disc and it plays a film. I've been watching a lot of DVDs over the past few weeks. I've watched The Two Jump Streets, The Two Bad Neighbours. I've watched Love, Simon because I've been missing Love, Victor. Uh, I was on my third watch through of it when the uh, Wi-Fi just went RIP me. I had to substitute it with Love, Simon. Wi-Fi's back. I'm gonna go watch Love, Victor later. <laughs> but in the meantime, while your Wi-Fi's down, go watch a DVD. They're really cheap if you don't own any. <laughs> and the final thing I did while the Wi-Fi was down was stare wistfully out the window and wish for Wi-Fi. Um, I wish this was a joke. I also lay down on the sofa and wished for Wi-Fi. I love my channel very much and I need internet to maintain it. Also, I like to tweet things. I have a note in my phone for when I'm at work and it's not appropriate to be on Twitter so that I can tweet things later. So there we go, just a few ideas for when disaster strikes. Um, if you've been without Wi-Fi recently, or I was gonna say, or if you're currently without Wi-Fi, but if you're currently without Wi-Fi, probably not watching this. Let some people know in the comments what you would do if your Wi-Fi went down, uh, what you enjoy doing that isn't internet-based, because, um, it would probably be good for a lot of us to take a step away from the internet now and then. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a lovely day and I will see you next time with another video. Bye!